Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we're looking at the Amazing Spider-Man Free Comic Book Day issue for 2018. Now this issue was written by Nick Spencer with art by Ryan Otley. Also working on the book was Cliff Rathburn and Laura Martin. Uh, Spider-Man looked pretty good, but the rest of the art was... Eh, it was okay. I'm not going to say it was great because it really wasn't. It really felt like one of those giveaway comics and the villains kind of reflect that so we've now we got gender bending electro so of course we had to have a girl in there and we've got boomerang really and rhino rhino i'm okay with because he's a pretty interesting villain and then big wheel which was one of those throwaway characters that was really dumb in the 70s and would always show up in the free ones yeah this was just a mess the jokes were not funny. The whole premise is that Spider-Man's getting a garbage apartment with Randy Robertson. And it turns out Boom Boomerang is actually going to be one of their roommates. Which is just dumb. So that, I'm sure that'll be stupid. But the jokes were just horrific. The dialogue was trash. Okay, so Spider-Man gives his origin recap. Which I'm fine with. But, you know, he's, he says, I got bit by a spider. Yeah, I had personal tragedy. But, I mean, look at the views. Look look at these skylines am i right am i right uh I'm, I'm relevant still right man nick spencer must hate comic books there's just so much like there's so much wrong with this that it's it's not even funny i I'm not having fun making giving this book a hard time it's just so poorly written there is some action which is fine you know we got rhino doing some stuff big wheel about to run over some people and that's cool but we're back to like the 70s here the cops trying to arrest spider-man for being a threat or menace and then spider-man's like ha huh, hey at least he's this guy reads the newspapers unironically even like who talks like that everybody talks really weird in this so apparently Kingpin is mayor of New York City now. Well, while uh, Spider-Man's talking to him, Boomerang makes his getaway and Spider-Man just leaves. Yeah, because that's never backfired on him before. And obviously it does again because now they're roommates. Uh, it was dumb. Spider-Man wouldn't have let this guy go because he's got this weird sense of responsibility. Because last time he let someone go on purpose, the guy killed his uncle. So he violates his own principles. He just says, he's your problem now, Fisk. That's so dumb. He just just looks the other way and why is fisk out there if he's the mayor why is he out in the middle of a super villain battle personally leading the cops he's not the police commissioner he's the mayor so that's that's dumb i don't know this was really really stupid if this is what amazing spider-man is gonna be just cancel it now because this is garbage this is worse than the free issues there was an anti-smoking issue back in the 80s that was given away at schools and it was probably 50 times better than this also in the back we have a little guardians of the galaxy recap which you think you're gonna get an extra comic because it says previously in guardians of the galaxy and it's got this real crappy art but it's just a recap of what's going on with the infinity storyline and it's really dumb and it did not inspire me to want to purchase just anything it just gives little recaps of people involved and it, it's like that supposedly witty humor it's it's horrible marvel is just really pushing the boundaries of garbage i might pick up issue one of spider-man just to see if it's as big of a dumpster trash fire as this issue was but this is not going to bring in new people it's insulting to old time fans and it's not going to get the attention of new fans it's not funny it's not interesting and it really downplays the personal tragedy that parker really went through and i think it's done intentionally i think they are trying to destroy their own characters because they're mad that people were upset over the uh, substitution of diversity hires that they tried to pass off previously and i don't think that's going to change anytime soon i think a lot of these creative types really hate the fans for liking the original characters and they're looking to destroy them and if nick spencer's any example with the trash fire that he did nick spencer already destroyed captain america for an entire generation of fans and probably the previous generation um i think he's trying to do the same thing to spider-man from what i've seen he's this is an effort to destroy characters i do not support this don't pick this issue up i'll, I'll pick up the first issue of amazing spider-man to 
see if it's any good but if this is any indication i may not even do that i may just let it go by the wayside because it looks like a garbage tier book and that, that's sad because this is supposed to be marvel's fresh start if this is their idea of a fresh start i really hate to see more of the same because this is this is hot garbage well, that's just my take thanks for listening as always be sure and hit like and subscribe and we hope to see you on the next one